Good morning YouTube, this is Lucinda, she's a very different take on the modern fighting bowie to the last one I posted, as you see there's a lot more belly, a much bigger, much more concave clip, clip is 6 inches long and the blade is going to be around about 11 inches, handle is a roco. Which obviously has some nice qualities for an outdoors blade. I want it to be an outdoors blade, but it has got a big fighting guard in it. So you've got devil horns, and then you've got two little, my signature vestigial side quillions. They're canted forwards. So there's blade catches right there. So if it'll focus. Is it going to focus? There you are. So that gives you a bit of an idea of those. Um, what else? Well, the guard's um, mild steel. It's gun blued. Turned out okay, I think. It's quite a simple knife. Balance point is about 1.5 inches from the guard. Um, and it weighs, I think, a pound and five ounces. So it's heavier than the other one, but it's, you know, still pretty light. It's got a distal taper, more of a subtle distal taper because the blade stock's. I think it's starting around. It's not, you know, it's not particularly thick. So about seven mil, whereas the other one's more beefy. Um, and I designed the grip so you could have like a slender, like more of a fencing type grip um, for kind of finesse cuts and stuff. And then you can choke back on here. You're never going to lose it to make it more axe-like. And obviously that extends the reach as well. Probably extends the reach by I don't know about so like three inches. You can take it back to there. So, um, on the clip on this one's uh, convex, to give it just, you know, I don't know, make it make it stronger if you're digging in a bone or something. And that's like a full convex grind, quite quite a lean one. Oh, that hole there was going to be a Spanish notch or like a forward mounted lanyard. And I kind of decided that the Spanish notch was stupid because it'd be nice to be it to be kind of functional. And I don't really think it's going to be that functional there, so it's really just a... Uh, like I said, a lanyard hole now. Um, oh yeah, and again, the blade is uh, secured with a real nice, expensive, um, you know, golf club epoxy. Which uh, we've we've done tests on it. We've made a hammer basically by just gluing a chunk of metal onto a bit of wood, and I got my uh, my mate Dave. Who's uh, about six four and nineteen stone to just wail on an empty propane tank with it, and um, he couldn't break it. And there was no surface prep, which surface prep is probably the most important thing. Well, it is the most important thing with epoxies. So, pretty confident on that. It's set up well so far. I'll post some uh, cut test of this at some point. It needs to be cleaned up because it's been used a bit, and so it's got a bit scratched up. There's a tiny speck of rust there on the clip, but overall, uh, pretty happy with her so far. Okay, thanks for watching.